Here I'm going to talk about just one way, a quick way to create your uh, blends, tertiary surface and such. Now again, this is just a, a quick way and this works for simple uh, shapes like this and it's it, it's very clean and I'm going to discuss other methods in which you can do the same thing with different tools stacked up differently but you have a bit more control as far as what those shapes look like different types of controls so for the first thing I'm going to use styling fillet the styling fillet is going to create my initial blend in this corner this is my driving corner so we know that's got to be big I should say 100 and I'm just going to make sure that these extend on out and I want to use a chordal fillet. I'm going to do the same thing with this surface and this surface. Let me reverse these and I'll reduce that. And I'll extend those out. Do the same thing for this. Same radius size, select OK. And I just need to go in and extend these out. I forget sometimes that those don't stay on. Now that I have that, I'm going to extract these edges. So I'm just going to go into boundary. And the reason why I want to extract these edges is I'm going to be using these edges over and over again. So I want a nice reference. If I continually use the prep, that's a relatively unstable element, then um, I will end up with a lot of uh, edit failures later on and may have to reassociate things to edge after edge after edge over and over again. But if I extract the boundary, make that boundary, the boundary loses the edge, I can reattach the boundary and everything is built to the boundary so I can um, easily make modifications with less potential failures. Once I have that, I'm going to use my intersection. I'm going to intersect these two. I need to get this point up to that tangency. So there's various ways you can do that. One way you can is uh, putting a plane over here and you can intersect this surface is one way with that plane. Another way is I, you can project this point up to here. And in this case, I'll use the projection method. So I'll project this up to this curve, this up to here. Now I need to draw in my tangency curves. And I'm going to use uh, a line for this tangency here. Another line for here to here. Watch, someone's going to yell at me for using a line. You can't use a line? Well, I'm putting it on surface, so it works just fine. Next, I'm going to use a spline. That spline is going to go from this point that edge. Notice I'm using these edges over and over again so that's why I decided to use the boundary curve to create a far more stable element. Okay, we go there, we'll go to curvature, change this to curvature so we have a nice smooth curve wrapping around and I need to do the same thing for this up here. Apply my curvatures. Now that I have that, I'm going to create my multi section surface. It's going to go from that curve, tangency there, that curve, tangency there. I'm going to go to guides, that curve, that curve, and select OK. Now I need to split all these things up. So we'll go into Geometrical set. Let me change the color of this thing because I want to be able to visualize this nicely. We'll go into split. I want to split this surface to there. And again, notice I'm using what would be those edges. I want to split this to here. I'm going to split this to here. Now, I need to get rid of this material over here. And you'll notice that I just can't simply start picking curves to do my splits. I have to set something up over here. So for that, I am going to do a split to this point. I'm going to 
split this curve to this point. I'm going to join those. And one more split. So there we have a very clean, relatively simple method for creating those corners. Let me go ahead and in d -d -d tools hide all curves, tools hide all points. Now what's nice about this method is that I do have a fairly parametric corner. So if I need to change that driving corner, I can come in here and say, all right, I need this to be at 80. There you go. Let me hide that. Hide that. So now you can see that it's at 80. If I can, let's go here, just go 65. So you have all sorts of parametrics that you can use. Let me go to 35. Also, you have these splines. So if you need to change the shape of this portion of the tangency, you can come in here and do such by messing around with those tensions to get the required shape. So that's one quick, easy way of making these corners using the styling fillet. Now the nice thing about this is that it generates all sorts of um, very easily parameterized elements. Now the next method that I'm going to talk about next videos, uh, you'll see me use uh, various techniques and you can still use uh, the styling fillet maybe in some of those corners, but I'm gonna be talking about creating intersections and blend surfs and other types of um, surfaces that you may be able to integrate into your design process. There isn't just one solution all the time. This is just one really simple solution.